Hey friends, welcome back to my channel and if you happen to be new here for the first time and this is the very first video of mine that you are watching, welcome. I am tackling this closet today. We're gonna tackle this dresser, this cubby cubicle looking thing. And I've been putting this off for a couple weeks now, but I'm really excited because it is officially September, which means we are just on the cusp of fall. We are like almost there and I'm so excited. I checked the weather and I think there's like five more days before the first day of late summer where it goes below 75 degrees. So we are super excited for fall and by we I mean my husband Jason and I we run a lot and we want to start running in the evenings again so we're ready for fall we're ready for fall fashion I'm ready for sweaters and boots and layers and all the things so got my giant roll of trash bags my fellow Costco members you know what's up so I am prepared mentally now to go through everything that I own and decide if I want to keep it for next summer or part with it. I only do closet cleanouts twice a year. I do one in the spring right before like spring and summer and then I do one right at the end of summer before fall and winter. So I basically only do this twice a year because I... <laughs> I have a problem and I literally have such a hard time parting with stuff. I'm that type of person, 100%, who's like, one day in the future, in seven years, I might wear this for 20 minutes. I'm that person and I'm not super proud of it. Like, I wish I was actually really good at like purging stuff, but I'm not. So, I'm mentally prepared this weekend to go through this stuff and like let go of some stuff. Like I said, I only do this twice a year because it just takes, it like drains me <laughs> to do this, but I'm really excited. So I'm gonna show you guys the situation that we've got going on with this dresser, the cubby, and the closet. So this is the dresser that we have and it is super cheap. Like it is not a very sturdy dresser. Eventually when we buy a house, we'll move, we'll get rid of it or we'll sell it or we'll give it away. This dresser is fine. It's held up for us as long as we've had it. But anyway, <laughs> this side is my side. This side is Jason inside and so in here I've got like my underwear bras sports bras normal bras that I honestly probably need to go through because as you can see I'm having a hard time closing it down here we've got all of my t-shirts and this just keeps filling up but I'm not really sure how so I need to go through all of these figure out what I want what I don't want I feel like I can maybe get rid of like a quarter of these there are some in here that I'm not like super thrilled to wear anymore but I love t-shirts like I'm literally just wearing a t-shirt right now I wear t-shirts all the time so I just like having t-shirts to grab this is a lamp that we need to get rid of we got new lamps so we gotta get rid of this lamp also I have my ring light because we have really bad natural lighting anyway our t-shirt drawer well my t-shirt drawer needs to be condensed because I've run out of space I've even like stood the shirts up to organize them to like try to fit more in here and this is where we're at. Below that drawer is my nighttime and active wear drawer. So I just placed a huge order on Lululemon and Lulu's and Free People Movement and Girlfriend Collective. I almost forgot that one. And so I've got some new active wear coming so I think it is time to part with some of this old active wear. I also have a ton of really, really old sweats that I need to get rid of and I have way too many sleep shirts now. So this drawer, believe it or not, I have a couple other pairs of sweatpants that aren't in this drawer. And when all of the laundry is done, I actually cannot close this. So this situation needs to be fixed. So this cubby situation, these four are mine. These two are Jason's and he actually said that he wanted to go through some of his stuff too. So we'll get around to his stuff. But for now, this one has my socks and I've gone through this enough where I don't really need to like go through my socks again. So this one will probably just leave. This is my hoodies and sweatshirts that is overflowing. Woo, very heavy. So I need to go through this one, condense the hoodies and then these two bottom ones are pants. So I've got like wide leg jeans in here. And then these are like my skinny jeans and then my like pants that aren't denim. So like lots of green pants. Do you guys see how many green pants I have? I have one, two, 
three, four, five, six. I have six pairs of green pants. So, <laughs> need to go through those. So this is the closet situation right now. And it wouldn't be that bad if I didn't have maybe three trash bags of sweaters under the bed. So that's why I need to clean this out because my sweater shelves are like already full and I haven't even taken my sweaters out from under the bed. So this is the state that we are at right now. And it's definitely a little bit overwhelming. I need to go through like all of these. So these are all of my like dresses. I have some blazers. Like I did keep a few early fall pieces out, but as far as like everything else goes, this needs to be organized and decided what to keep and what to get rid of. So I typically like to start at the easiest section because it like gets the ball rolling, I get some momentum, and this is how I ease into purging the good stuff in the closet. I like to start with my t-shirts and my sleepwear to kind of like, you know, just get really encouraged that I'm parting with stuff and that I'm making good decisions by creating space in my life because it really does, it does take a, a toll on your mental space when your life is crowded. So we're gonna start in the dresser. Okay, so. So uh, we are <laughs> gonna go through this and I feel like honestly I probably should go through my bras and underwear because I just feel like there might be some stuff in there that I don't really need anymore and I have like gotten some new active wear sports bras so I feel like I could part with a few of these like older ones this is where we're starting these are some like older Victoria's Secret ones that I just don't wear anymore these are honestly I think from high school did you know you were gonna go through my underwear drawer with me this one's kind of comfortable but I really like my True & Co bras better than these so we're gonna part with them yeah I think this one's actually too big for me I remember this one being large don't need that look at sports bras okay so I just ordered a girlfriend collective sports bra so that's good I think this one is actually like too tight on me I never wear this one because it, it's just tight this one's really old as well this is not a sports bra this is just a comfy bra but I honestly never really wear this one anymore I don't know what brand this is um also I don't really wear this one that much anymore so I guess these actually can go wow Wow, I'm making some real progress over here. I have already made so much progress, okay? These are the ones I'm keeping. These are the ones I'm getting rid of. These were all just sitting in there and taking up space that I didn't need and I never, literally never wear. So I feel really good with this. Probably just gonna donate these, not gonna sell these at a closet sale. <laughs> Next up, t-shirt drawer. We're thrilled about it. Okay, so there are things that I didn't get rid of in my last closet clean out that I still have worn this year and so I think it's time to just do a smackdown on the things that are just cluttering my life so shall we just take everything out I will say though I'm highly impressed by how look how organized this is it actually stayed really nice so I'm very proud of myself for at least keeping it under control okay there are a few things in here that I absolutely cannot get rid of like this NYX tank bra obsessed with this I love this and I feel so good when I wear it so that has to stay but let's see what else there is shall we okay there's a tank from Lulu's I really like this t-shirt my there's no one like you tea of course you guys seem to really like this tea which is super funny this is a Michael Starr's tea I had so many of y'all ask me about this tea in my Moissanite ring video I just thought it was really funny because I was like oh I just threw on like a t-shirt but you guys really liked it um what do we got here this is a white tea oh this is like a turtleneck okay this I don't see myself wearing this so this is gonna go uh closet sale or donate it's a really nice tea we'll put in the closet sale pile this is my madewell turtleneck that i wear underneath literally everything so this stays see this is a good time for me to also just refold everything all all nice jay was and i were wondering what happened to the tidying up show did that get canceled or i feel like it only lasted for like one season this is just a cute t-shirt do i need this this is a maybe this is a maybe i don't even listen to bob dylan but i just i thrifted that shirt it's from lucky it's not that like it's not vintage um i really like this shirt okay Okay, cute. Oh, this is a tank top. 
top. Okay, keeping that. This one, um, what do we think? Striped tee. Okay, this is a maybe. Jeez, uh, my momentum is slowing already. Okay. Okay, this t-shirt can go. Uh, this is just donate. I'm not gonna sell a t-shirt. Okay, Madewell tee. Probably should keep my Madewell tee. Black Madewell tee. Cheetah shirt. I like my cheetah shirt. What is this? Oh, this is a Mott and Bow tee. Okay, if I have to keep one though, because I don't wear black t-shirts that much, I feel like I should keep the Mott and Bow one and part. Well, do I keep them both? Do I not? I don't know. Okay, that one can go. This puff sleeve one. That one's cute. I just don't wear black tees that much because Riley's hair just gets everywhere. It's really, it's really not worth it. Oh, this is my cool mock neck tee that I got. Okay, this one's for sure. Stan. Okay, I need to decide. Uh, Mott and Bow tee. Mabel tea's going. We're making quick decisions here. Green tea. Uh, mm, it's a maybe. I just said quick decisions and I'm back on maybes right now. Okay, so that one's a maybe. This is a, just a pocket tea. I love t-shirts. I have a problem. I have so many just white t-shirts, but they're they're all so different, you know? This tank, okay, really like this tank. We're keeping it, we're keeping it. Another t-shirt, yes. This tank top, gotta go. Sorry, you guys are right by the road right now, so it's very loud. My Florida t-shirt, keep. My Brandy Melville t-shirt, keep. This Madeville t-shirt, keep. Okay, so I thought I was gonna get rid of some stuff. Um, this is not going very well for me. This is a white tank top. Uh, mm, go. This is a white t-shirt. You just can never have too many nice white t-shirts. I don't know, maybe that's just me. That can be sold. It's a bodysuit. Will I wear this? Uh, no. Okay, this one can also be sold. This is a off-shoulder top. Keep this, because it's different. So, Lord help me. Um, okay, well, I got rid of some stuff, so that's better than not getting rid of anything. Okay, so these are all my white tees. Okay, so, you know, gotta hold on to those. Okay, these are my black tees. We're gonna sort them by color. As I'm organized like that. Oh wait, this is long sleeve. Okay, long sleeve is very different though. Okay, so white tees, black tees. Do I okay, all of these are different, I swear. Well, except for the white t-shirts, they're not different. But the black tees are different, okay? Um, this is a bodysuit, but I actually, I, I think I would wear it again. So I'm just gonna keep it and throw it in the back here. Um, okay, so we've got long sleeve. Okay, so just two solid white and black long sleeve tees, kind of. That feels worth keeping just because those are just good to have. Um, okay, tan, tan, solid blue. Okay, believe it or not, this is actually better. Okay, it doesn't look like it is, but I swear it is better. Oh yeah, I've got tons of more room in here. This is, this is like night and day. It looked like I wasn't getting rid of anything, but there's so much more room in here now. So look at me go. Okay, do I want this? I'm gonna say yes to this and then part with this part with it gotta go it's gotta go um bob dylan kind of a nice just like throw on with some denim shorts tee mm, bob can stay bob can stay for one more year one more closet clean out he survived this round he survived this purge um this is just a long sleeve tee okay so i've created enough space where things are like falling over so i think that's good i would consider that a victory this is a uh, this is great look at this well i'll show you the final reveal after i do this bottom drawer i did get rid of some stuff though i think i got rid of like 10 t-shirts all right here's the real issue that we've got going on right here i um need to get rid of some stuff i know so let's just pull it all out shall we okay after i got these blue and gray sweatpants i've honestly had a really hard time wearing any other sweatpants so i'm pretty open to just just getting rid of a lot of sweatpants at this point because I don't care for them. Now that I've tasted and seen blue and gray, I don't really care anymore. Um, okay, these, I never put these on because they, they're just hard to get over my ankles. You know what I mean? Like when you have a problem wearing something, you don't grab it that much, that's those. Okay, these, these will stay. Okay, these I like when we go, uh, we don't go camping anymore. I'll say I like these when I go camping, but we don't go camping. So, uh, <sighs> Okay, yes, no. Okay, these ones are made well, but I <laughs> I stained them with my benzoyl peroxide face wash and now they're bleached. So, you know what? Or should I get rid of these? 
Because these don't have pockets and I can't tell you how many times I just try to put a phone in, there's no pocket. Okay, so, okay. That's like, I got rid of some actually. All right, so these Mabel ones will be pending. These are a pending get rid of. Okay, these leggings are too big on me and they also have a hole, so those are gone. Oh, I really like these. Okay, so these will stay. I like those two. Um, I never, ever, 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 ever wear these, so these are gonna go. See, I'm just like rapid firing these. These are, these were thrifted actually, but these aren't that bad. So these will, these will stay until I get my new leggings. Mm, shouldn't keep them, but they're gonna stay until I get my new ones. Okay, these ones, so old. Oh my gosh. Okay, these are from maybe high school because I know that because I burned a hole in like one of the knees. So those are gonna go. Those are very old, like very old. These are just a pair of leggings. I don't even wear leggings, but I guess if I wanna like wear them under something okay these shorts going these shorts i like i like playing pickleball in these um okay these are like pajama shorts okay but never really wear them so i feel like those can go all right we are making moves my friends sleep shorts keep these we've got so many tees here all right t-shirt t-shirt okay keep this one okay, honestly can get rid of toby mac the elements sorry toby um okay keep this because i don't have that many workout shirts i really don't have a ton so it's two got four workout shirts until i get some new ones all right sleep shirts i have way too many oh wait <sighs> more leggings okay these ones actually are pretty good so i'm gonna keep these but i i really do think i'm gonna do another draft of like leggings and stuff when i get my new stuff in because like honestly I am pretty convinced that I'm gonna try on my Lululemon leggings and nothing is gonna be the same anymore. So, one. Okay, that can go. Actually, this one can go. Goodbye, Igbok. Okay, two, three, four. Four sleep shirts? I thought I had more than this. Only four? Well, good, I don't need more than four, so that's great. Okay, what is this? Oh wait, I do have more than four. Okay, I have five sleep shirts. I have one pair of sleep shorts, but I also have like these blue and gray shorts that I love. And then, okay, so I've got these shorts. So leggings and shorts, thriving. I'm thriving right now, guys. Can't even tell you how good it feels to get rid of the stuff that I've already gotten rid of and I haven't even gone through the closet yet. Okay, are you guys ready to see the new and improved dresser? All right, here we go. First drawer, looking a lot better. Second drawer, look at this. Look at the space. I mean, it's not crazy, but guys, they're not jammed in there. And then here we go. Look at that. I even have this little empty cubby back here where I can put my loon gray shorts. So we're thriving. Okay, so now I need to go through this cubby cuticle. Cuticle? Cubicle. This is not a cuticle. We are gonna start with this sweatshirt bin. It's very, very full. I honestly have to like shove it into this thing and I kind of like broke this. This is from Costco from years ago. I had this in my college dorm. Let's see what we got here. This one, lots of pink and tans. We love to see it. Okay, these are like pretty much yes. Sweatshirts, ugh, just thrifted this one. This one has to stay. Okay, so we're keeping the neutral vibes going this is where it starts to get a little bit like ooh, why do i have some of this stuff so egg box egg box departing this is my glossier sweatshirt matches the pink theme okay gotta hold on to this okay next up oh this one's like my my fave i wear this one all the time oh, wait i forgot about this oh no this is where it's getting difficult this is why i haven't cleaned this out apparently okay keeping this one mm, you know what it might be time had that one for forever okay this is a madewell sweatshirt and i actually really like this one but i don't know if i'm gonna wear it that much okay so now i have like some workout sweatshirts and these feel it feels different like i need something to run in so i I don't really necessarily want to get rid of this stuff. Okay, I really like, ah, oh, see, I really like this stuff. I feel like this one could maybe go. That one can go. Rip. Okay, so I've gotten rid of three. Oh, geez. Okay, I really like this one from H&M. Honestly, I feel like I don't wear this Madewell one that much. Uh, okay, I need the workout ones because I need something for the winter. I know right now I don't want them, but I know later I'm going to want them. This glossy one takes up so much room. It's literally the biggest sweatshirt ever, but gotta represent my brand. Okay, this one, wow, the plushiest thing ever. Okay, this is where I'm running into this problem here. Put these in here. 
Okay, but like genuinely, I would like to know how I got rid of so many and then it's still full. I wish I didn't need these workout ones. Or maybe I could put these in the closet downstairs. Mm, I'll put this one downstairs. That's better. I feel like that's actually not that bad. Okay, so this is a lot better. Look at that. Next are my jeans bin and I have lots of jeans, okay? So this is full and we gotta decide what to get rid of. I feel like I do this all the time, yet it does not get better. I thought I was gonna wear these this year and I didn't. So because I didn't wear them and I thought I would, these are gonna go to the closet sale. These are cropped wide leg jeans. Second bin of pants. Okay, so this is where things start to get interesting. These I actually found out are ripped. So even though I thrifted these and I liked them, I just, they're ripped and I have a better pair of paper bag pants. So we're just gonna go with the nicer ones. It's honestly really nice to just do this so that you can get eyes on everything that you have in your closet. Cause honestly, I have found some stuff in my other jean bin that I like actually forgot I had. So I'm super excited. I cannot wait to wear my cargo pants again. Wow, cannot wait for it to cool down. These are a pair of jeans I cannot get rid of. These perfect vintage jeans. I talk about them all the time because they're actually perfect. These are some skinny jeans. I literally never wear skinny jeans anymore. I don't know why I don't really wear them, but. Okay, paper bag pants, yes. Obsessed with these, cannot wait to start wearing these again. All right, these are pants I said that I was gonna try to break in in the last closet clean out, and I've yet to put them on my body. So these are, so they're gonna go. Can't get rid of my camo pants. Was that a phase? Might have been a phase. Cord pants. Okay, I said that I was gonna get rid of these when I got my new paper bag pants. So I know you guys really like these and I like them too. These are from Lulu's, but I have those other ones. I wore these on my birthday though, but I think someone at the closet sale will actually really like them. I actually got rid of like a few pants, feeling good. So as of right now, this is all I have for the closet sale pile because most of those t-shirts and sweatpants I just put into this donation pile. So now we're gonna go through the actual closet and this is what I am the most nervous about because I don't feel super great about how I'm gonna tackle this. <laughs> so I'm actually gonna start by pulling all of my like dresses out and then going through them out here. The closet's small so I don't wanna like try to bring us all in there. Okay, we've got a lot to go through. All right, so this is new. Uh, didn't wear this. Also didn't wear this. This one was a little bit big on me. So, like this one. This is my one very fancy dress. Oh, I feel like I'm gonna wear that in the fall. One of my favorite thrifted pieces. It's a good jacket. Never really wore this one. I cannot wait to wear my trench coat. I love trench coats. Um, didn't really get around to wearing that one. This one's pretty. I think it's time to part with the yellow dress. this but I feel like this color kind of washes me out a little bit and I like my green jumpsuit better so this one's gonna go to the closet sale
the dress that I wore to my friend's rehearsal dinner. You guys loved this dress. This is from Aritzia. Has some really pretty detail. I love navy. I don't wear navy that often. to organize my closet by length so my shorter pieces like rompers and stuff go here and then dresses go back here Okay, so now I'm gonna go through short sleeve blouses and do the same thing, go through everything, figure out what I wanna get rid of. These are the pieces that I decided that I didn't want as far as like dresses and blazers go. And I might honestly refine more as I go, you never know. So the reason I like to do this, typically like if I'm not filming, I guess I would just go through and look at everything, but I really like to get my eyes on all of the pieces. Once I can get like a refresh of what's in my closet, so I'm like, oh, that's in my closet. I forgot I had that. So I'm gonna just go through all of the things and figure out what to keep. I still haven't gotten to wear this yet. I need to wear this before summer's over. Oh, I like this top a lot. I got this one in my Target haul. Really, really like this one. Love this little Madewell top. This is a really pretty top. This one is actually from Elizabeth Suzanne and her business. It was a small business shut down because of COVID. So I feel like I need to keep this. It's really pretty. You like wear it like this in the front and then it's open in the back. It's a little Madewell top. I like that. I like this pink top. I never got around to wearing this neon top, so I feel like that one can go. I really like this vintage top. This one's really pretty. Cheetah shirt. I feel like I can't get rid of the cheetah shirt. Oh, I cannot wait to wear this one again. This is from Petite Studio. So pretty. I kept thinking I was gonna wear this one, but every time I looked at it, I was like, I'm gonna have to steam it. So this one can go. Finally getting rid of some white shirts guys. Very proud of me. Been holding on to lots of white button downs since the moment of time. I wanted to show you guys a few pieces that I am parting with. This first one is a slip dress and I thought I would wear it, but theme of everything that I'm getting rid of is stuff that I didn't end up wearing. So this is gonna go to the closet sale. So I'm getting rid of this dress because I actually wore it a lot and I feel like I just kind of wanted something new and fresh in my wardrobe. So this one I'm actually getting rid of because I wore it too often. So it's really cute though. It has a little tie in the back. So I'm parting with both of these pieces and I know you guys are gonna get on to me about these pants, but I just have another pair of paper bag pants and I really believe that there's someone out there who will cherish these and love these and I don't need two pairs. So these ones are gonna go in the closet sale and then this is a really cute top, but I feel like it's so wrinkly that I really never grab for it. But now that I have it on, I'm kind of like, oh, do I wanna keep it? This is why I shouldn't try stuff on because it just makes me want to keep all of it. Maybe I'll keep the top. Do you guys like this top? It has like some drawing on it. I think it's kind of cool actually. Maybe I'll keep this. Okay, yeah, I really shouldn't be trying stuff on because now I'm really liking this top too, but I just feel like I didn't really wear it. So I, 
now I kind of want to keep it. See, I'm too attached. I need to get rid of it. I need to get rid of it. I need a part. Okay, last piece that I'm going to try on because if I keep trying stuff on, I'm going to keep it all. It was really hard for me to decide what white button downs to get rid of because obviously I have so many of them and I love them all. But I'm going to part with this one because it makes my shoulders look really, really wide. But now that I'm seeing it on camera, I'm kind of into it. <sighs> I need to just let it go. So this little white button down is gonna go to closet sale as well. I just, I really like it now. See, okay, last piece that I'm gonna try on, no more. Okay, so shirts going in the pile. And this closet clean out is turning out to be extremely long. So what I still need to do is go through like shorts, but shorts are already pretty condensed. But what I really wanna do is go through this closet again and pull out the stuff that I want to store like under the bed because when I switch out between summer and winter I like to put my summer stuff away so that it creates more space for my fall stuff like I don't need tank tops and like floral blouses in the winter so I'm gonna go through that in I guess the next video this is gonna be part one because this ended up being a little bit more intense than I thought and it ended up being really long so I'm breaking this up into two videos this is part one thanks for watching watching and in part two i'm gonna go through the rest of the closet i'm gonna go through and pull out all the stuff that i want to store under the bed and i'm gonna unpack my fall stuff as well and put that up in the closet and organize it so that will be part two i hope you guys enjoyed part one sorry if it was really really long i tend to just film very lengthy videos these days but if you enjoyed this video give it a big thumbs up and leave me a comment down below just letting me know if you've started your closet clean out slash transition into fall Fall yet. I feel like I'm honestly kind of jumping the gun by doing this at the very beginning of September. I feel like normally I won't change it over to like October or November because it really doesn't get cold until like November. But I'm inspired. There's also a closet sale coming up so I really do need to do this and we've got a pretty good pile going so far and honestly I'm probably going to make revisions in video number two. So leave me a comment if you have started your closet clean out or what time of the year you normally start transitioning your wardrobe over and if you're new to my channel and you want to stick around for part two be sure to hit that subscribe button. I would love to have you back for some more videos and I will see you guys in my next one very very soon. Bye guys!